Ramias just kicked my butt at some gaming. Um, what was okay. that, Drina? No, oh, okay, that's Drina. No, that's you. No, Drina's rubbing against the controller. I didn't kick her butt because we played a co-op. And apparently, I suck at co-op. I'm an RPG gamer, not a uh, um, FPS or that kind of gamer. Even though she plays Dragon Age. Dragon Age is not FPS. It can be. It's not. And that wasn't. A, you weren't shooting. Well, I like playing rogues for a reason. And that's the same setup as Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh, that's a good point. No copyright, by the way. Don't sue us, Dragon Age. We love you too much. So what else do we have planned for the day? I work in three hours. Three hours? Good lord. So you'll be stuck with me most of the day, guys. Um, I think we're going to go get something to eat. I've got some cleaning to do today, which is really good because I'm manic. Um, yes, it's like Tigger. Bounce, bounce, trounce, trounce. Again, no copyright infringement intended. What nanas? Baby girl! That's daddy's baby girl, my baby girl. I went shopping with mom a little bit earlier. We got some cat food for them. Oh, look at her being so cute. Yeah, we were playing Hunted. Um, we've been playing a couple games lately together. We're watching each other play games. And there's a few others back here. I mean, you got Kingdom Hearts, or there's, um, there's a whole bunch of games that we have. Hi, baby girl. Let's see who else I can find. Let's see who else we can find. Somebody at the end of the hallway here. Who's that? That is... Is that a tortor? Yes, that's a tortor. See? Red collar. And she's playing with one of her favorite toys. We don't buy toys for our cats anymore. Now, here's somebody you guys haven't met yet. My original baby. Hi, Ryo. He's the old man now. Hi, buddy. He's in my office. Where this was a storage room, slash it was my dad's, like, storage and little bit workshop. Um, you can see we've got, like, paint, some tools, storage kind of things. Um, he was remodeling the bathrooms and got one done, but never finished the other. And it's turned into a dumping ground at the moment. We need to clear out some room in the garage, and we should be able to put some of the stuff that's back here down there, and hopefully um, paint in here. Uh, there's some water stains or smoke stains from when Dad was in here smoking. We've got some white paint in some of those buckets behind me, I'm sure. So. Hopefully get my office taken care of here in the new f near future. Um, I asked for Ramias to help me with my office for my birthday. Getting it up and running, especially now that we're doing this, so that way I have a place where I can keep everything. Right now, oh, the twins are together. These two little girls, I tell you, just love spending time together, don't yous? Lolo! Yep, Thor is Tortor, and Loki is Lolo. I know that in Hawaiian, Lolo basically means stupid. Um, we live in a duplex house, so that's why it looks weird. Dad put a bunch of archways in when we first moved in here and opened things up. And then, hopefully, once we get my office taken care of, we can get somebody else's office taken care of. Would be nice. It would be very nice, and with summer winding down, it'd be good to get them all cleaned up so we can kind of like live in them to clean them up during the winter. Yeah. 
and my hair is being difficult again. What? So my hair is being difficult again. It's got the little. It's fluffy on one side and sticks straight on the other. Yes. Let's see. If you guys can't tell, his hair. Oh, it's not as bouncy now, but usually when it's freshly cut, his hair is really bouncy. He got it from his grandfather, I swear. Because grand, oh, your grandfather, Papa, had stick straight hair like that, too. I don't know. He's always had it almost buzz cut to the scalp. But it's still, what he did have grew straight up. Yeah. So. What's up, baby girl? Meow. Meow. She's not the youngest anymore, but she's still the baby girl. Yay! Something I shouldn't know about. Yours is not coming through Amazon. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Um, my birthday is like in a week or so. Um, a week from Tuesday, today, Saturday. Our so. Magical flame powder. Yes! Um, we f when we went to Maine this summer to visit Ramias' dad, um, we found this powder that you put into a bonfire type deal and it changes colors once changes the fire different colors um it was what like two dollars a pack up there individually that was just for dust and that yeah that was for very little and he found a multi-pack online 25 packs for 11. yeah this stuff you toss one into a fire it burns for an hour. So I wonder what the stuff that we got from Maine, how long it lasts. It does, you just toss it in, it goes poof. Hmm. Did, did your, um, stepbrother use any of them? No, they we, never, we never got the fire started. Okay. Um, when we went to Maine, it was the first time I ever met my stepbrother-in-law. Well, I consider him just my brother-in-law. My family, there's no such thing a step and a half. I technically, I'm the youngest of five. Um, and the only girl. I have four older brothers, but three of them are technically half siblings. Yeah. So. That was quite the uh, experience when I first was dating her. Let's talk about that. Found out she is the, not only the youngest child, but the only daughter. And not only did I have to win, get mom and dad's approval, yeah, I had to get the approval of three. Well, definitely the two eldest boys. Dennis, you know how Dennis made his remark. <laughs> yeah, Dennis is also the one that said I'd be an idiot if I didn't marry you. So I had to. Not win their hearts or... Cause it's, win their approval. Yeah, win your approval. Win um, approval. My dad was... Had hope, open heart surgery shortly after we started dating. That was in April. And... Um, we started dating in December. Dad had open heart surgery in, I think, April. Yeah. And then that following July was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer, and it was too late to do anything. Yeah, the surgery apparently amplified. It just made the cancer spread rampantly, and um, I think I know why. I mean, since there are all of the white blood cells and whatnot. Right, that we're, we're focusing to... on healing him from having his chest ripped open to have a valve replacement done. Nothing was left to fight the cancer. Yeah. So, um, we got engaged. Dad passed away in September. It's been about six years. It'll be six years and it still feels like yesterday some days. Um, but when dad got sick and wasn't doing so well, somebody asked for permission to marry me. So he at least I got... did the appropriate thing, went to both parents after promotion. Yep, and that was six months into our relationship when he asked the permission. 
Um, he actually didn't get to meet most of my brothers because they live a couple hours away until dad's funeral, which was really difficult on you. Um, but all my brothers said, if he stayed with you through this, he's not going to leave you. So, because you had the option to run and you didn't. Hi again, guys. Uh, still getting some cleaning done. Um, managed to clean our bedroom up some, not much, but something's better than nothing. Uh, probably gonna get a little bit more cleaning done here later on today. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's my hope. Um, um, well, Ramias is at work right now. So, he won't be in until about 11 tonight. He Moo. You want to talk to the camera again? Want to say hello to everybody? Hi, Momo. What? You had food earlier. Um, one of the things that I had to pick up today when I went with Mom is cat food, mostly for her. Luckily, um, she does eat. What? Why are you pawing me, huh? So that's about it for today guys and hopefully we'll have a video up fairly early tomorrow. Got a lot to do. Um, upcoming videos still we're working on getting the fertility video and our TTC journey together, um, trying to conceive journey video together. That's going to take a little while. Uh, and I'm also going to do a video about tattoos. and. Um, one about my tattoos and what they mean to me and then of course tattoos in the workplace and are they appropriate or not um, I might do a similar one on piercings if you guys can't tell I have quite a few piercing holes there at one time I had seven piercings in each year I think I'm down to five are in each year are the ones I keep um, and I'm sorry for the cameras being really close to us. <laughs> I didn't realize that the tripod that we originally were using had been repaired by Ramias's papa, his grandfather, um, when we got it. One of the support bars on it for the telescoping feature had been Gorilla Glued or something of that nature to it and the glue came apart. <laughs> when I they're gonna fix this one find a new one laying around the house or purchase a new one so hopefully I'll be able to not be focused so much on my face um, so if there's anything you guys would like us to talk about in particular go ahead and put it down in the tile section below and we'll hopefully go ahead and uh, get those talk topics covered and hopefully we'll get to see you guys tomorrow take care